My name is Brendan Lawson, I'm 24, I live in Melbourne, I'm an automotive mechanic at an Alfa Romeo dealership, which is really good because I get to see a lot of different um, problems and get to have a good go at fixing them, that's just my passion. I, I, I would, I've got a little project car at home, I go home from work and I'll go out to the garage and I'll work on my own cars till 10, 11 o'clock in the mornings, I'll let in the night, so it's, yeah, I just can't get enough of them. I did year 12, uh, did a bit of uni as well at IT, and um, I did, and I didn't like that, so I decided to do my pre-apprenticeship, which I really enjoyed because cars are my passion. And I've I applied for the job, and it was actually the first job I applied for, and I got it, which is obviously through a group training organisation, and they've helped me out really well. I'm at a dealership, so we get a lot of the new cars that have just been sold and servicing and. Like general repairs, if they break down and stuff like that, like gearboxes, engines, and just a normal sort of workshop. We do a lot of diagnostic work, diagnosis work, because like in the Alphas, for instance, there's uh, about 12 different computers in them at least, so there's a lot of computer work in them. Um, still lots of mechanical sort of stuff, like you're obviously going to have your mechanical breakdowns, but a lot of problems happen with the electronic side of things as well, so it's a good good learning base. I'm not working on, I'm not learning on stuff that's out of date or anything like that. I'm up to the industry standards and learning all the new technology. Through Alpha, we've got uh, factory training courses that we go up to the the head of Alpha in Sydney, and we do um, training courses up there for a couple of days at a time. And uh, one of my foreman's a master tech, which means he got to go over to Italy for three weeks and got to be fa trained in the factory in Italy. So. It's good options to go. My host employer obviously advertised through the group training organisation and that's who I applied for and I think it's worked out a lot better working through a GTO because I got to, there's a lot more, um, I can see a lot more rights and it's a bit easier for me to work things through. I've got more than one person I can go to if I have a problem or anything. You've got a lot more options, you can, you've got the options of being able to go to a different host employer at, throughout your career or your apprenticeship without having to go through the full interview process. You, you still have to obviously get interviewed for each workshop or each um, host employer, but you can. it makes it a lot easier to um, get more experience in the workplace. My uh, field office is really good. He's, he comes from the indus automotive industry, so he knows what it's like to be in the workshop. He's happy to come out and he comes out and sees me and he's happy for me to ring him if I have any dramas. Basically they've always said to me if I have any dramas at all that to give them a ring and they'll help me. They've helped me out with trade school things and like payments at trade school and doing my and getting me enrolled and all that sort of stuff so they've been quite helpful. Because I worked at the um, the F1s in Melbourne doing the um, celebrity race for the Fiat's and I've done uh, worked at the motor show in Melbourne and a few other things but so far yeah today's skills tomorrow's letters definitely been the highlight of my career so far. It's a great opportunity. Eventually I'd like to get to Foreman and in the distant, distant future open my own workshop. I'm happy with the way I've done things. The, going through a GTO has been the best option I can think of really.